hello guys welcome again to our channel here uh, today we want to do politics a lot has been going on in this country there is a reason why kenya is going through whatever is going on right now it was because of the ignorance of the people who are very very jealous of others i believe and then they went in and voted in Ruto and Rigati Gachagua, knowing very well that this duo could not work together and even Ruto himself cannot deliver any promise, any promises that he made to the people of Kenya. So I believe the state of Kenya is a failed state and uh, the unity of ODM and UDA is a very unfortunate situation in this country and we are here where we are after some people said that they were going to vote out dynasties like that their main aim was to remove dynasties they were not voting for change they were not voting for government to bring in change so i believe the state called kenya is a failed state currently because of the leadership we have will go up to 2032 I don't think now you can convince any person from Luo Nyanza that Ruto is not good. After he appointed their counter, their Luo people into cabinet positions. There's no Costarian person from Coast Province or any Muslim religion wise that you can tell that Ruto is bad right now. After he appointed Joho as the minister. And so <clears throat> my advice to the people is, of Mount Kenya is that uh, you should learn, try to learn uh, during elections. Do not put head first. Do not go to the voting, to the ballot, not thinking correctly. Go and see the future. Do not vote with the motions. We are where we are after Mount Kenya people voted with the motions in 2022. And uh, they have suffered the most. All Kenyans are suffering, but most of their businesses have been closed down because of a useless government that does not have policy. Yeah. So what I can say is that um, unless the, our Mount Kenya counterparts wake up, delete hate from their heads and know that they are all Kenyans we all have to work together unless they wake up from that sleep Kenya will never be the same again these people they are full of hate and they cannot be united with other Kenyans they believe that they are the ones to control that everything should be for them they believe that Kenya belongs to them so they end up making big mistakes during elections they choose wrong leadership you can see the how kiambu has been kiambu has never had a, a good governor kiambu is account with the potential but because of emotions they choose people like waiguru people like waititu those are the people that are chosen to lead to manage their resources you see and these people like they chose Waiguru, there's a time they chose Waiguru and uh, I was talking to some of my friends from that region. They were saying that Raila is not good, he has is now work, working with Waiguru. Then I asked them, if Raila is not good, but Waiguru you knew, you guys knew that Waiguru is a, uh, she has stolen a lot of resources. But now you went ahead and chose her as the governor of Kirinyaga. So you want Raila to fight for you people to remove Waiguru, whom you have already chosen to represent you, to manage your resources, a thief. You understand? So the thinking capacity of these people, it is very hilarious. And um, Kenya will be very far if these people are thinking straight, if they were people who would like to work with other Kenyans to develop the nation called Kenya, but for them, they are in Swahili, we call it Niwa Binafsi. They want everything for themselves. They were very angry at Uhuru when he built a lot of roads across the country. 
They wanted the roads to be built in their region only. We know the head, it's about the development that Uhuru did for other tribes. It is about Uhuru working with the Raila. It made, yeah, I, there is a time Uhuru uh, took some port, I don't know, in Naivasha. And they were claiming that this port was for Uhuru's family. So Ruto, when he came to power, he announced the following day that he has removed that port from Naivasha. And the same people from Mount Kenya, they were celebrating and rejoicing, not knowing that if the port had been there or even if the depot would have been in Naivasha, the business in that area would be booming. The youths in that area would get jobs. You understand? I was against the removal of port from Mombasa to Naivasha, but they would have put a depot. Ruto would have come with a policy to put a depot to just be like an inland port to, to help with the one of Mombasa so that there will be also some jobs there. You understand? So these people are full of hate and they we cannot move forward as a country if we have this kind of people in this if they don't change their mentality kenya cannot move forward they should change their mentality they should be able to think right during elections they should not go to the ballot voting using emotions now regarding chagua is being removed from the, his elected post, you understand? And um, so far, most of the people who have been impeached are from Mount Kenya region. Like in Kiambu, there was a governor who was impeached, I believe so. And also now, regarding Gachagua. So the people now, they believe they are being attacked. But for me, I don't sympathize with them. The economy should continue to crumble because Ruto has no any agenda of people to move forward. He doesn't have any agenda to develop this country. He's there to dismantle everything, to enrich himself, and that is what he's there for. Raila has tried to fight for this country. He has been called names. He has been abused. So. Those claiming that Baba should be not sit with Ruto, he should not, he should fight for them. You cannot elect a wrong government and expect someone to be fighting for you every day. And when he fights for you guys, you start abusing him, you call him names. You do a lot of b uh, bad things that uh, for him, I support him, his move. Let him work with Ruto if he wants because the Kenyans chose William Ruto and Rigati Gachago. And if Raila will be fighting regarding Gachagua and Ruto. The same Kenyans who voted him will be saying that this guy is a lot of poverty. He is fighting our government. He is doing this. And, and when Raila now decides to work with them, the same government they elected, who is regarding and Ruto, Raila is not good. He is here. He's working with Ruto. Ruto is not is very bad president. You, are, you elected the same Ruto and Rigadi. Now you are saying, Raila should now fight them and remove them for you. This is the Kenya we live in. You understand? Uh, do not elect a leader and you expect someone to fight for you. You can also stand up and fight Rigadi and Ruto and remove them from power because you guys elected these guys into the seat. So I do not believe that it is the work of Raila to be fighting and removing governments. It's not. Because if he tries... You will call him names. You will do a lot of stuff. You've seen it in during Uhuru and Ruto regime. We are seeing it here in Rigadi Gachagua. When he was walking around, uh, when Raila was walking around trying to talk of what the government should do, people are really abusing this guy and saying that the guy is not good. We, he's fighting our government. He don't want Ruto to deliver. The economy will crumble. The economy will only crumble if there is bad policies. Raila cannot bring down the economy. If the government in the, of the day doesn't have policy, you understand, we cannot move forward as a state. So I believe that uh, we have to wake up from the sleep and as Kenyans believe we are moving forward. Let Ruto rule for 20, up until 2032 so that Kenyans can wake up from sleep, so that Kenyans can be of right mind during election so that Kenyans cannot vote with emotion so that Kenyans can work harder and develop 
believe that is uh, what Ruto is, has been sent by God to do. And he will be here with us up to 2032. Mount Kenya will never see any presidency even after 100 years. I think that is what Ruto is here to make sure it will be delivered. So we are now equal and we have to struggle all of us in this country. That's what my message to you Kenyans. So let us see what Ruto has in store up to 2032. Enjoy the Ruto presidency. We are here and we shall support him. I'm not criticizing him because he has been elected. Whether you vote for him in 2027 or not, he will still win. So, brace yourself for a Ruto presidency up to 2032. In fact, even more than that. Thank you guys and keep it locked and subscribe to my channel. Like this video and share. Thank you.